Hey everybody, you're watching Robot Rallis, and today we have a special treat for you. We have this uh, 61 card standard control deck that we're going to run a game in best of one with real quick. Hallbreaker Horror, Devious Cover Up, stuff like that. Alright. We find an opponent, and what does our hand look like? Our hand looks okay. Not great, but okay. We're playing some very strange cards, admittedly. Pass turn. Probably looking to just uh, crack a clue here. That's a good card. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. I don't really know why they'd be playing it here, but, I mean, far be it for me to, like, tell them how they should play their deck. So that means a good card in draft, that's what I meant. I don't, I don't really know if it has applications in, um, not draft. We have the catch-up mechanic in hand, so I think our goal is to just uh, stay stable. Alright, well, they have a lot of ways to go get extra planes out of the deck. Certainly interesting. No, 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 no. I want to play my land. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'll just pass again. Sagas are good against control, and every single deck is playing Sagas lately. Oh, okay, they get that. Alright, well, that does die to Meat Hook Massacre, thankfully. Sure. No complaints. There's a Seraph Paragon. I think that we're supposed to counter that. Admittedly, it's kind of unfortunate to just raw the counter there, but like, I mean, we can't kill it, and the next turn they just get another restoration. I mean, I was about to say, what do they have a spell here or something? Well, that's pretty unfortunate. We're going to cast it because we need the lands. Wow. Yeah, I guess we're just going to discard actual cards here. Let's go to Rona's Vortex and a Tribute. Play this and then play out the Mnemonic Sphere. We do need some cards. Uh, they have a lot of stuff here. They even get a 3-4 next turn. Really struggling to make these Meat Hook Massacres actually go the distance. Intrepid Adversary. Well, we can still kill that, so... Alright, well, we do draw this. So, if we don't kill, we're taking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we actually must cast this necessarily. Alright, well, we're going to gain some life off of that. It's the good news. We have another one in our back pocket, just in case. Where they have Sarah Paragon number two? Seems like it. What in the hell does this do?
two shield counters. Be dealt damage or destroyed. Okay, well, how many instants of sorceries do we have in here? A lot? Yeah. Alright, well... Yeah, we're not going to do anything. I think we can afford to take five here. Oh, we have red mana. Interesting. Well, I think I have to counter that, don't I? We'll do this first. Yeah. A little unfortunate, but I can't really let that resolve. It's just very annoying. Um, dealt damage or destroyed, huh? Yeah. I think we're just gonna pass again. They have three cards here. Sure. Go to seven. Uh, okay. Certainly interesting. They do have a lot of lands in play. Alright, they go get another mountain. So they do have something. Uh, well, now this is interesting, isn't it? We can tribute to Urborg and try to make that work. So I think we will. This does work. Shield counters do not get around that. Play out the land, pass the turn. Have a lot of stuff. Oh wow, yeah, they're very, very flooded. They have a uh, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have more lands than I do, which is certainly not where you want to be. We do have to eventually win the game, so we are gonna. We're going to draw some cards here. If they want to do something at flash speed, that's fine with me. Wandering in for I guess I should have figured that that would be the thing that they want to do. I'm kind of tired of this card, to be honest. Just a very, very annoying thing everywhere in standard right now. Still have much to learn. I had the pleasure of dealing with it in limited a million times over. And now I have the pleasure of dealing with it in constructed at every level multiple times over. Well, I mean, if they're not going to pressure us, we're just going to draw cards. Um... No, we'll just uh, discard the uh, meat hook and thirst number two. Don't really have any reason to do anything here. We're not really under lethal pressure just yet. What does this even do? That's weird. Yeah, sure. We're going to memory deluge. Devious cover up's fine. And then I think we're going to do it again. Breaker and a land. Yeah. 
Siphon Insight's definitely fine. Um, yeah, I think we'll cast it here. Target you. It's like a Sarah Paragon for sure. Um, hmm. Two cards in hand, huh? Seven mana, we can leave up Rona's Vortex. Yeah, we're just gonna pass turn here. We will attempt to block. We do gain some life. Okay, well, they do have something to do, just don't know what it is. Something graveyard related. Invoke justice. Yeah, sure. Four plus one plus one counters. Okay, yeah, interesting. Unfortunately for them, it still gets Rona's Vortex. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly strong. Charge hard spell, you don't. Oh, yeah, I could have done that. Alright, well, we're going to return it to its owner's hand. Trigger, we're going to return this to its owner's hand. Okay, so we have what? Eight here? So we can actually kill with the Meat Hook Massacre. What's our other option? Oh, we can actually just bounce it. Yeah. Okay, well that's what we're going to do. So for now we're just going to play out the land. No attacks, pass turn. It was probably correct to actually attack my opponent there and just bounce it so they can't block. We'll resolve that. And we will block. We still have Secrets of the Key number two, as well as Mnemonic Deluge to punish them here. 
we actually also gain life in this exchange. So they do have five cards in hand, but I think our options are infinitely bigger than theirs. The Wandering Emperor main phase. Yeah, we'll just uh, return that spell to its owner's hand. to do it again, and this time we'll just uh, counter it, counter it. Auto paint. Bounce the token. And they concede. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, admittedly, they might have conceded out of uh, the deck not being especially fun, but that's the nature of control, baby. Well, if you enjoyed this, uh, this is the only thing I have time for today, unfortunately. Please feel free to like, comment, and possibly subscribe. Thank you so very much for your time. Uh, if you'd like to make an appearance on Limited State, feel, uh, please feel free to drop me a line at robotrealist at gmail.com. Have a good time.